Hello dear students of class 8. I am here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about Unit 5, Lesson 4 from your English for Today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen. A man who loves trees. So after the discussion of today's class, we will be able to number one, read and understand text. Number two, infer meaning from context. Number three, ask and answer questions. Number four, write answers to questions. And number five, listen for information. Now, dear students, before starting our today's lesson, let's see what Onik and Aisha are thinking about. Hey Aisha, where are you going? Well, I'm going to water my trees. Your trees? Oh yes, I planted them in our yard last month. That's great. You know, recently I have seen a report on TV about a person who loves to plant trees. He has transformed his village totally. What a wonderful job he has done. Dear students, let's open page number 50 and read the text for knowing a little more about Kartik Puramanik. At the farthest corner of Bangladesh, there is a village called Tarapur. In this village, there lives a man named Kartik Puramanik. He is a hairdresser by profession, but a nature lover at heart. His passion is to plant saplings which grow into gigantic trees. He started planting trees when he was only 10 years old. He remembers what his father once told him. My son, you can earn the blessing of God by planting trees. He has never forgotten what his father told him. At present, he is 63 years old. He has planted hundreds of trees in his village. Many of trees are now 35 to 40 years old. Once, there was hardly any trees in this village. Kartik used to go to different houses for his job. At times, he would get tired in the scorching sun, but there were no trees under which he could sit and rest for a while. Thinking how people suffer in the heat, Kartik began his tree planting mission. Occasionally, Kartik would wake up early in the morning take one or two laborers with him and set out to plant trees. He would walk long distances to plant trees, carrying with him some dry food and water. He would pay all expenses from his own pocket. Kartik has planted trees beside the roads, in and around the buzzer, schools and colleges, open fields and many other places. At times, it so happened that Kartik would go to water his plants at 10 or 11 p.m. People asked him, Kartik, are you mad? What are you doing so late at night? Kartik would smile and say, What to do, sir? I have to work hard the whole day to earn money for my family. I don't get time during the day, but my trees would die if I don't water them. So I come late at night to look after them. Even today, this old man continues planting trees as many as he can. A man who can hardly sign his name is leaving his signature all around in nature. Now that we have read the text, you might have noticed some words unfamiliar to us or new to us. 
let's look deep into those words shall we profession that means occupation or job for example kartik is a barber by profession sapling it means young tree for example she grows saplings to plant them in the field passion it means strong liking or desire for some activity or concept for example he has a true passion for tree plantation gigantic it means extremely large for example the gigantic elephant is the largest land animal on earth scorching extremely hot for example people suffer for scorching sun in the summer mission it means specific task a person or group of people is given to do or assignment for example his mission is to plant as many trees as possible these new words will definitely help you to express your feelings in a better way and i also bet that you understand the text better now after knowing the meanings of the words now let's move on to our practice session let's see how clearly you have understood the text write down whether the following statements are true or false if false give the correct information 1 kartik lives in the village named tarapur yes it is true number 2 he planted the first tree 50 years ago it is not true answer is false correct answer he planted the first tree 53 years ago number 3 kartik borrowed money from others to plant trees answer is false correct answer is he paid from his own pocket to plant trees number 4 he would plant trees around his own hut only answer is false correct answer he would plant trees everywhere five at times kartik would water his trees at night because he felt lazy during the day answer is false correct answer kartik would water his trees at night because during the day he had to be busy with work for earning money number 6 at present kartik is 63 years old yes the answer is true now we can go to the next practice what we need to do here for each question choose the best answer from the alternatives one kartik was a dash by profession okay a cultivator b tree planter c day laborer d hairdresser so think about it what can be the answer yes hairdresser c number 2 his mission is to make the village green by option a cultivating paddy in the fields option b growing grass in all the fallow land option c planting fodder for cattle and option d planting many trees yes the right answer is planting many trees number 3 some of kartik's trees are big and great gigantic enormous kingly what can be the answer yes gigantic four some of his trees are dash years old a 15 to 20 years old b 25 to 35 years old c 35 to 40 and d 40 to 45 yes the answer will be 35 to 40 Now we can go to the next practice. What you need to do, you need to answer the following questions. 
Yes, we need to answer the following questions. Number one, who is Kartik Puramanik? I think you know the answer. Just match with us. Kartik Puramanik is a hairdresser in the village Tadapur. Question two, how do you understand that he is a nature lover? The answer is, he is understood as a nature lover from his passion of planting trees. Question three, why did he plant trees? The answer will be, he planted trees to ease the sufferings of the people due to scorching sun and to show respect towards his father's advice. Question four, what do you understand by saying a man who can hardly sign his name is leaving his signature all around in nature? The answer is, by this saying we understand that though he is not so literate, he has done a noble deed by planting trees which will remain even after his death as his reminder. Okay, now next practice, read the following text and fill in the gaps with appropriate words from the box. Let's see the words. When, known, continuous, protect, already. Let's start. Kartik Puramanik is a poor hairdresser. He lives in a village dash as Tarapur. Yes, known as Tarapur. He is a lover of nature. In order to dash people from the heat of a scorching sun, he started planting trees dash. He was only 10 years old. Okay, think about it. In order to dash people from the scorching heat. Yes, protect. In order to protect people from the heat of scorching sun, he started planting trees when he was only 10 years old. He has dash planted hundreds of trees in his village already. Exactly. He has already planted hundreds of trees in his village. Even today at the age of 63, this old man dashes mission of planting trees. Continues his mission of planting trees. Now let's see what we have learned today. Today we learned about number one, reading and understanding text. Number two, inferring meaning from context. Number three, asking and answering questions. Number four, writing answers to questions. And number five, listening for information. So, dear students, follow the instructions of government and stay safe. Thank you again from Amar Ghare Amari School. To see the class again, follow Facebook and YouTube. Thank you very much. Goodbye.